that this is going to be a tight race, and we've always been running like this is down five points because we know what the stake is at the race here. Tight Rice, Pennsylvania Democrat John Fetterman providing the latest in a series of alarming quotes. The battle for the Keystone State dominating headlines as the November midterms draw closer. And joining me now for more is former U.S. Navy JAG officer, member of the House Appropriations Committee and House Rules Committee, and Pennsylvania Congressman Guy Reschenthaler. Congressman, welcome back to Wake Up America. Thanks for having me on. Always appreciate it. And as always, please just call me Guy. Uh, Man, but, you know, go ahead. I, I, I know, I know you don't want to do it, but but please just call me Guy. I was going to talk about this Dr. Oz race just real fast with Fetterman. Mm. This, this race at this point, it just shows you, uh, it, it's a microcosm really for the United States because you see what's on on the ballot. It's It transcends Republican and Democrat. It's about whether you support the people that support the murderers or do you support the people that support the police and the victims of violent crime. That's really what's on display here. Fetterman is radically too left for Pennsylvania, radically too far left on issues like uh, criminal justice, the, uh, the Green New Deal, et cetera, for Pennsylvania. And that's why you've seen Dr. Oz come from 16 points down this summer to now being within the margin of error with Fetterman. It's because this veneer of uh, Fetterman has been ripped off and people can see the radical that he is. Also, Voters are voting more and more on crime this election season. Philadelphia is on record to surpass the all-time record high of homicides, literally having more homicides this year than at any time in recorded history. Uh, violent crime is really bad in Pittsburgh as well. Hmm. So this is on the mind of voters. And when you have Fetterman running around making outlandish statements like we should decriminalize all drugs, uh, that we should release everybody that's convicted of second-degree murder, and release 1,200 of those violent criminals back onto the right. streets. That's intolerable to the voters of Pennsylvania. That's why Dr. Oz is going to win this race. Well, you mentioned that Dr. Oz is uh, really gaining momentum right now, and part of it is because maybe the sound bites that we started this segment with. Uh, I mean, there have been some more alarming comments coming from John Fetterman. He's only done four nationally televised interviews since his May stroke. When it comes to his health, do you think that's something that people are concerned with? I think that the better attacks on Fetterman are not his health, because mm -hmm. the risk is if you attack Fetterman for his health, he gets sympathy points. We also have a president uh, that, that has some health issues, I would argue likely cognitive issues, a president that won the presidency by hiding in his basement in Delaware during the entire campaign season. So that is not, a, that is not an avenue of attack that I think is as effective as showing how radical Fetterman is on crime, showing how radical he is on energy policy, uh, showing how radical he is on health care. He wants to abolish private health insurance, for example. Hmm. So for all those reasons, I think we focus on what actually moves the needle. It's those issues, and we stay away from the, the health issues. And this race in particular has gained national attention, but Fetterman himself has tried to kind of divorce himself from President Biden, maybe not divorce him, but not bring him up as much, maybe make it more so about Dr. Oz than it is the Democratic Party on a national level. But the nationalization of the race, Fetterman has raised a record $22 million during the third quarter of 2022, reportedly topping Dr. Oz by around $5 million. So when it comes to the money that's going into this race at, at a national level, that's not all coming from Pennsylvania, do you think it will have an impact? Money does matter on races, but you also have to have a good candidate. Remember, Dr. Oz was grossly outspent in the primary election. Uh, he, he overcame that just because he's an excellent candidate. Frankly, he's the only candidate in that mix that could have beat Fetterman. As far as the nationalization of these elections, uh, it's become national because the federal government has way too much power. They're way too intrusive. So an election in Pennsylvania, unfortunately, affects people in Florida and people in Texas and elsewhere. So that's why you're seeing a lot of these races, both Senate races and races for the House of Representatives, getting nationalized. It's really a symptom of the fact that the federal government has overreached. But getting back to the question, Dr. Oz has been outspent before. He might be outspent now. Uh, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, the choice is very stark between these two candidates. Again, yeah. do you want somebody who stands with murderers or do you want somebody who's with the police? It's that clear. And it seems right now, whether it's this race, uh, other races in Arizona, Ohio, there is a little bit of momentum right now for the GOP candidates based on those very issues. But Congressman, as always, thank you for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me on. Take care.
No crooked, crooked establishment. None of that twisting the truth. No talking down don't to me. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. I trust Newsmax. Newsmax. They don't tell, tell me how to think. think. They let, let me decide. Newsmax. Real news. For real people.